Hello all, the practitioner here, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, I've actually been um, watching this particular episode, and I've got to say to this one, way to go to Penn and Teller for debunking the New Age part bullshit of the, uh, um, in relation to dolphins, and saying that the uh, dolphins are as intelligent as humans. However, what's interesting is that apparently there does seem to be some evidence that dolphins are at least somewhat intelligent. Maybe not as intelligent as us, but at least somewhat intelligent. This is from the Wikipedia article on dolphins right here. There's no universally uh, agreed definition of intelligence. However, a common, commonly used definition is the ability to reason, plan, solve problems, think abstractly, compre uh, comprehend complex ideas, learn quickly, and learn from experience. This definition is separate from ch social traits or the ability to learn tricks, which can be done through conditioning, which many laymen confuse with animal intelligence. Some um, some research um, has been shown. Uh, some research shows that dolphins do exceptionally well with this aspect of uh, indicating very high intelligence, even surpassing the average intelligence of a chi uh, um, the, uh, even surpassing the intelligence level of a chimpanzee, who is generally believed to be the highest among non-human animals. Dolphins um, also seem capable of discriminating against uh, discriminating between numbers, which is a very high abstract. Um, which is a highly abstract ability. However, many scientists now tend to rake uh, dolphins above the level of, uh, uh, sorry, about the level of elephants in intelligence, in intelligence tests and say that dolphins haven't shown any unusual talent with problem solving compared to other animals classed with very high intelligence. So they would apparently not be, um, so just to be perfectly clear here, I'm not advocating saying that they're uh, on the same level as humans, but they would appear, note that I said would appear, to be um, sufficiently intelligent, uh, apparently above the uh, average level of chimpanzees, and apparently um, about on par with elephants. So we're looking at something uh, at a relatively basic level here. Now here's what's also interesting. Um, let's see, they were talking about resident orcas, uh, complex play. Ooh, they've got some stuff on creative behavior. Uh, they have also the demonstrative ability to produce creative responses when it comes to trying to learn tricks. Oh, and here's what's funny. As of 2005, scientists have, limit, uh, have observed limited groups of ball, um, bottlenose dolphins in the um, Australian Pacific, around the Australian Pacific, using a basic tool. While searching for food on the sea floor, many of these dolphins were seen uh, uh, tearing off pieces of sponge and wrapping them around their bottlenose to prevent abrasions. Communication, uh, and apparently they do actually have a language here. This is again from the same Wikipedia article. Um, to, dolphin to, uh, dolphins emit uh, two kinds of signals. Uh, do, 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 okay, uh, clicks and whistles. Um, now, there is strong evidence that some whistles, called signature whistles, are used uh, by dolphins to identify and or call each other. Dolphins um, have been observed emitting both other specimens' signature whistles and their own. A unique signature uh, whistle te um, develops quite early on in a di uh, dolphin's life and appears to be... Um, Created in an imitation or uh, of the signature of the uh, whistle of the dolphin's mother. Another interesting thing was that CBC back in 2006, CBC News talked about a study in which um, dolphins were actually um, they took signature whistles from a particular uh, dolphin. They recorded them. Uh, first, they observed the uh, how other dolphins uh, who were in the same pod or family react. This were in captivity. Note uh, reacted to um, a dolphin who clicked a particular uh, signature whistle. They recorded that signature whistle and later played back the recording of that exact same whistle for the dolphins at a later point. Uh, note that this was a, rec uh, or and they also did this with a computer synthesized version of the uh, clicks and whistle using like a MIDI file. What's interesting is the fact that the um, dolphins uh, responded both to the natural uh, recorded versions and uh, and played versions in live, uh, uh, you know, the the live actual ones that were synthesized by the dolphin, but they also responded to the exact same synthesized pattern. You know, the ones that were synthesized by a computer and were a little bit different sounding than the dolphin's original clicks. They were, you know, they, they could appear sound mechanical. So what's interesting is that apparently, according to the scientists, this indicates that the dolphins may actually have a naming system for individual dolphins, a, 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 a click or whistle based uh, name, if you will, of, a, of an individual relative which appears to recognize this. So apparently dolphins do have uh, use clicks and whistles not only just to uh, do kind of sonar underwater, but there may actually be a somewhat complicated language system. I'm going to go on with the rest of the Wikipedia article here. Um, uh, well, apparently, uh, or at least they're apparently that they're, well, 
Well, at least apparently there may be some basis of a language here. Let me go on. Um, Zitko, uh, sorry, let me, uh, Zitko reported um, the ability of dolphins to passively eavesdrop on the active echolocation inspection of an object by another dolphin. Herman calls this effect acoustic flashlight hypo the acoustic flashlight hypothesis and may re be related to findings by both Herman and Zitko on comprehensions of various uh, variations of pointing gesture, including human pointing, dolphin postural pointing, and the human gaze, in the sense of uh, redirection of, an, of a, another individual's attention, with an ability which may require theory of mind. The environment in which dolphins live it makes experiments um, much more expensive and complicated than for other species. Additionally, the fact that statisticians can hear and emit sounds, which are believed to be their main means of communication, in a range of frequencies much wider than um, than human means uh, uh, than human um, than human means uh, that sophisticated um, sorry than humans uh, means that sophisticated uh, means that sophisticated equipment, which was scarcely available in the past, is needed to record and analyze them. <coughs> for example. Uh, clicks can contain significant energy and frequencies greater than 110 hertz. Uh, hertz, uh, sorry, kilohertz, 110 kilohertz. For comparison, it is unusual for a human to hear uh, sounds above uh, 20 kilohertz, requiring that uh, um, requiring that equipment may have sampling rates for at least 220 kilohertz. Uh, megahertz um, capable hardware is often used. In addition, uh, the to the acoustic uh, communication channel. Sorry, just checking. Um, the visual modality is also significant. The contrasting pigmentation of the, of the body may be used, for example, with, uh, f with flashes of the hypopigmented uh, ventral area um, uh, uh, of some species, as, uh, can, ca as, can, cause the, uh, as can the production of bubble streams during uh, signature whistling. Uh, also, much of the synchronous and cooperative behaviors, as described in the behavior section of the century, uh, as well as cooperative foraging methods, uh, likely are managed at least in part through visual means. While there is little evidence for a dolphin language, experiments have shown that they can learn human sign language. Um, Ake Kamai, a bottlenose dolphin, was able to understand both individual words and basic sentences like, touch the frisbee with your tail and then jump over it. Dolphins have also exhibited the ability to understand the significance of ordering each set of tasks in one sentence. Um, now, self-awareness, unfortunately, is a little bit more difficult. Um, uh, uh, it has been suggested that they possess uh, self aware, uh, uh, so, uh, self awareness. Um, yeah. Um, apparently, a mirror test, however. Um, okay. Now, uh, where is this um, arguing the results? Can I? Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The primates were able to touch the mirror. Anyway, uh, apparently, um, though dolphins do appear to have some intelligence, um, there is some dispute as to whether they have self-awareness or not. So apparently, dolphins uh, apparently dolphins do have some basic tool-making capabilities, do appear to differentiate numbers, and do have some sort of problem-solving capability, putting them on par with about elephants. So the appearance would be that they do appear to have some level of intelligence, um, and at least uh, they do seem to have signature whistles and apparent means of communication through um, you know, their click and whistle system. And they do appear to understand human sign language, at least at basic uh, point. So they may not be as intelligent as us, but there is some suggestion as well anyway that evidence uh, that, um, that, um, that elephants also have similar ca um, basic communicative capabilities through their um, you know, trunk, you know, through the uh, noise that they blow at different pitches and the like. So I guess what I'm saying uh, in this video is I'm just Again, I'm not debunking the video, but I guess the point is that um, while uh, Penn and Teller are right that uh, dolphins are not as, as intelligent as us, it does appear that they do have some level of basic intelligence and abstract reasoning capability. Self-awareness, still under dispute. Just thought that that uh, info might help uh, flesh out the details with, uh, with dolphins a little bit. Meaning, as well, that um, uh, you know, if they can understand sign language to a certain extent, uh, it may be possible for dolphins and humans to communicate just not at the level that uh, Dr. Lilly and his, re uh, just not in the way that Dr. Lilly and his researcher were working with. Anyway, um, <coughs> I'll be posting the link to the Wikipedia article, which is fully referenced uh, over in the right-hand side on the summary here. And um, until then, I hope you guys enjoy. Toodles!